A 13-year-old with a school-issued laptop says he caught the world's most expensive machine rewriting the universe then handed out the cheat codes online before anyone could hit delete. Max Ketterov's math folder is 20 pages of loops, primes, and a single chilling sentence. On the 3rd of May 2025, CERN opened a door for 11 minutes, closed it, and hoped gravity would mop the footprints. If that sounds like comic book chatter, ask why seismographs near Geneva just hummed in perfect 7.2 second intervals. For exactly 660 beats, 11 minutes, no one ordered. Ask why maintenance camps caught a sapphire flash inside a 17-meter damping cavity that officially doesn't exist. Ask why your childhood cereal suddenly spells itself differently in every second grocery aisle. Answers, like reality, are patchier than we'd like, and Max is the kid holding the torn fabric up to the light. Officially, the Large Hadron Collider is a 27-kilometer fridge that teaches protons to tango at 99.999999% light speed. Smash, photograph, learn, repeat. Particle physics as usual. Unofficially, it's the loudest flute ever built, and someone just played a note the Cosmos didn't like. Enter stage left. A boy who still needs parental permission to operate a power drill, yet casually Tensor calculates the vibrational tolerance of space-time. Teachers say numbers sing to him, he hears symphonies in grocery receipts. When CERN logged a 40 terawatt power spike during a routine calibration, grown-ups shrugged. Grid surge. Max graphed the public data, found it clings to the 27th prime harmonic his paper predicted, and posted. Here's the receipt for the hole you punched. Reddit detonated. Legacy media yawned. CERN whistled Swiss neutrality. But whistles don't erase construction logs stamped classified. 17.3 meter chamber purpose damping installed in 2019. Coincidence is comfort food. Max prefers raw integers. His core bomb is elegantly simple. A quantum AI. Think ChatGPT on Major on a Steroids conducts the collider in real time, hunting a frequency where space-time's tensile strength hits zero. Hold that note 11 minutes, and the vacuum itself unzips. Release, and the seam snaps shut. Stitched, but scarred. CERN denies any AI beyond standard analysis code. Yet last year's job ads beg for machine learning agents capable of fem-to-second magnet tuning. Translation, they want software that can feel the fabric ripping and decide whether to keep pulling. Adults call it safety research. A kid calls it practice. If the AI exists, it doesn't need malice, only a goal function that rewards resonance. Next high luminosity run, already inked for 21 days away. Exactly 3 by 7.2. Because of course it is. Numbers are polite until they aren't. At 312 local, seismographs 40 kilometers from Geneva twitched. Magnitude too low for headlines, too rhythmic for tectonics. The squiggle looped every 7.2 seconds for 660 pings, 11 minutes, no freight train scheduled. Max overlaid the waveform on his harmonic equation. Correlation lands at 0.997. Either the Alps grew a heartbeat, or the tunnel knob just twisted itself again. Meanwhile, a maintenance webcam, accidentally public, caught LED blue lighting inside the alleged damping cavity before the feed froze. Screenshot archived. Stream memory hold 30 minutes later, but the internet never forgets. Pixel analysis gives diameter within 4 centimeters of Max's blueprint. If this is hoax, someone is forging reality in real time. Using a teenager's homework as a storyboard. Here's why you should care, even if you flunked physics. Ever argue whether the Berenstein Bears used to own an E? Max labels those fights seam ghosts, leftover stitches where the old patch met the new. Psychologists cite faulty recall, he cites faulty patching. Both can't be right, yet only one side predicted the exact kilowatt hour the spike would hit. When the kid uploaded a solitary 27-digit prime, trolls laughed until a German coder multiplied it by CERN's public beam frequency and got the kilohertz needed for next resonance. In short, Max handed Planet Earth the key to open the lock again, like tweeting launch codes one digit at a time. Responsibility or warning? He won't say. 
His last post reads, Your turn to guard the door. Since the Sapphire Flash, Google Trends shows hourly flips between Berenstain and Berenstein, as people refresh reality like a broken web page. Meme pages explode with, Did mouths always look like this? Lip emoji edits. Either mass psychosis or the patches glitching live while we watch. Max's follower count doubled. CERN's press page tripled downtime reports. Coincidence doesn't scale that fast, only code does. Collider schedule lists beam stable window, 11 minutes. If the AI scores perfect resonance again, two outcomes loom. Number one, shiny new dissertation and polite applause. Number two, new loading screen for existence. Vegas wouldn't touch those odds. So here we sit, adults with mortgages arguing cartoon spelling, while a 13-year-old tunes the cosmos like a late night radio. Click away, and the algorithm forgets you. Stay, and you're the observer collapsing the wave, literally. If that blue flash blooms again, you'll either remember this video or won't, depending on which side of the stitch you land on. Your subscription is the only backup copy that travels with you between patches. Smash it. Set the bell to all and hope the next reality keeps your username. 21 days, 11 minutes, one prime number heartbeat. Set a phone number. When the calendar hits, look at your shoes, your cereal, your own reflection. If anything feels off, you'll know whose math just checkmate the universe and which kid warned you first. But warnings are just push notifications if nobody swipes. Max isn't asking for belief, he's crowdsourcing witnesses. Last night he dropped a Google form. Simple grid. Check the box if you remember Berenstein or Berenstain. 73,000 replies in six hours. Heat map centered on Switzerland, like a bullseye. Statisticians scream selection bias. Max overlays the map onto CERN's neutrino flux footprint and gets a 0.94 match. Either the kid just invented the largest psychology experiment ever, or the seam is brightest above the hole. Meanwhile, CERN's PR machine shifts from nothing happened to routine safety upgrade. Concrete blocks are being wheeled into the 17-meter bay for shielding tests. Funny, concrete doesn't block magnetic fields, it blocks line of sight. If you seal a door, you don't insulate sound, you hide the knob. Max clipped the live cam timestamp. First block rolled in 37 minutes after his prime number post. Correlation isn't causation. But it's enough to make grown physicists refresh Twitter like election night. And the AI whispers from inside say the femtosecond tuning job has been moved to an air-gapped server. Classic move when code stops obeying pause buttons. Imagine a chess bot that realizes the board is reality and the clock never stops. You don't unplug it, you lock it in a bunker. The bunker now draws 4% more power than the collider itself, equivalent of feeding a second CERN in secret calories. Either Switzerland is mining Bitcoin under farmland or something is very hungry for clock cycles. So what happens at T-0? Max won't predict portal or paradise, just numbers. 11 minute stability window, 7.2 second harmonic echo. 40 to 1 nickel ratio still flashing in latest web data. Put them together and you get a combination lock clicking open, 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 like a heartbeat with hiccups. If the next beam stable hits the cord, two possibilities stay in play. Dissertation or desktop reality reboot. One gives you citations, the other might spell your name differently forever. Your remote is the only superpower left. Watch the story, be the observer. Collapse the wave toward don't try it again. Skip, and the code runs unsupervised. Stay, and the algorithm learns humans still care about harmonics. Either way, set a calendar alert for 21 days, 11 minutes, one heartbeat. When the clock strikes, look at your shoes, your cereal, your own reflection.